Welcome to Holtville. This would be the carrot capital of the world. Welcome everyone to Discover This. Today we're in Holtville, California, and we're going to visit a cemetery where all the markers are for John and Jane Doe. So kind of unusual. So let's go check that out. So here in Holtville we have Terrace Park Cemetery. And your traditional style cemetery. But behind this cemetery is another cemetery and that's the one we're going to go check out today. So let's maneuver through this and get to where we're going. Now the cemetery we want to see is fenced off by this really nice privacy fence. I'm not sure why exactly. I've studied up on this place and read a lot of literature and articles and things and I've never found out why it's closed off to the public or it is now anyway. I don't know that it was always. But those are the markers that are all John and Jane Doe. And there's about 240 unidentified people buried here inside this, uh, it's about a three acre cemetery. They're not using all of it at the moment. Many of them are migrants who after crossing the border from Mexico either succumbed to the heat of the desert, drowned in the All-American Canal, or had some kind of medical issue that caused their death. But none of them can be identified. There are others buried here, murder victims, others who died from various causes that also couldn't be identified. The Imperial County Coroner would bury them here in this cemetery with a John or Jane Doe brick marker with a numbering system that probably coincides with the files of the unidentified that are in the coroner's office. Just in case someone does get identified at some point. They stopped burying the unidentified in 2009. After that, they were and still are cremated and the ashes are scattered in the ocean off the coast of San Diego, California. Now, as you can maybe see, there's some flowers. Been here a while. But a couple times a year, maybe, uh, groups come out here and they either put flowers on the fence here or they, they toss them over the fence as part of a remembrance to the people that are laid to rest inside here. So that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen, for this uh, short little video on this uh, unique cemetery within a cemetery. And I think when I was studying up on this and reading, there were uh, there's a few others scattered around the country, uh, John or Jane Doe cemeteries, but this is the one in Holtville, California. And if you can stop by, I guess pay some respects if you're in the area. And until next time, appreciate you checking this out. Appreciate you taking the time to watch. And we will see you next time on Discover This.